Okay. Uh, hello everyone. This is your boy, Ambassador, the Director Marlon Green, letting you know what's going on with the COVID-19 issues. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, I want to give a few shout outs to organizations uh, that didn't let, let us down. Excuse me. Uh, Walmart. Walgreens. And uh, some of the mom and pop stores. There's a few of them that's out there. I can't remember their names right now. And uh, and. Uh, I, I just I just want to say I appreciate that. But as far as uh health wise, uh I wash my hands regularly anyway. It's not more than ten seconds because the water is corrosive because I wash my hands all day. Second of all, we didn't have a lot of disinfectant, and so I was disappointed they didn't have aerial disinfectant, they didn't have spray disinfectant like Lysol or the cheaper bargain brand. Also, you all didn't uh, talk about cleaning the atmosphere. I got an Arctic, uh, a Arctic chill fan. It basically is just a fan with a filter on it. You can take the filter out and wash it, put it back in. And uh, they didn't have gloves for a long time. I even use gloves to wash dishes because the water is uh, corrosive. And during COVID-19, we needed gloves. And uh, we got to make sure that uh, a shortage doesn't happen. And uh, and and what else did, did I do? Uh, basically taking vitamin C, not depending on the uh, research uh, developments for a vaccine, doing what I can now. Uh, 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 I, I clean the window seals. A lot of y'all have dirty window seals. You have a uh, uh, clean that. And also, if you know that you have the sniffles and the sneezes all the time, you should keep your mask on indefinitely. A lot of people in Asia had already been wearing a uh, face mask as a hygiene, uh, uh, a hygiene inducer. Uh, United States just getting on to it. I'm not buying that uh, China knew where the coronavirus came from because they didn't. Nobody, if they if they knew where it was, they not saying nothing. But I'm not worrying about that because we're gonna have other challenges come up. And basically what they need to worry about is is being able to develop vaccines faster. And that's what was was up. And also, you know, we have these a conglomerate is is a, a bunch of remnants from fuck ups. And uh, the Majestic 12 is one. Uh, uh, Democrats is another. Republicans or another. Y'all need to do better at choosing y'all leaders because they making y'all suffer, not me. And also, you're going to be put on the boycott list if you're fucking with minorities in the wrong way. And uh, there's no substitute for courage, neither size nor strength. Everybody is going to meet somebody that's bigger and stronger than they are. That's no excuse for doing your job. And y'all African-American women need to respect me more because you don't have no better leader than this. They are, they are misleading you. And so... Uh, I'm not depending on what everybody else is doing. I'm putting out unique products and uh, unique uh, presentations. And uh, it's not all about you all. It's about economic development. And that's why I'm putting out these business motion pictures. That's what the genre is. It's all business and economic development art. It's not all about me. I might be presenting it. And these are my projects. And when I get... Uh, enough funds then I can bring more people into the fold on my projects like actors and directors and and singers and and dancers and choreographers I, I, I can deal with that but I don't have the budget and so y'all just have to respect the documents from not going around being passed around and remember I have your best interest at all they don't and a collective bargaining agreement is out you have all of these big names they call them this is what this they should have been doing 30 years ago a collective bargain agreement it's just basically you getting with all of the artists and say, look, man, we got to have one voice at making, pitching the ideas to get us on to this or get us on to that. I've done it. And so these millionaires and billionaires, it was been supposed to turn you on to that so you can get a fair shot. Instead, they hide all of that and they want to keep you back, keep you down. And I'm disappointed in Africa and African-Americans because African-Americans say everybody name 
and I'm not making no money. They wouldn't give me no props, so I'm going to make moves on my own. And you can let them uh, folks turn y'all against me if you want. Everybody that's turned against me has met most uh, unfortunate circumstances and bad luck and uh, criticisms and, and points missing. So that's what you're going to be facing, dealing with me. It, uh, it's not all about violence. There's more than one way to skin a cat, and I'm showing y'all that every day. And, uh, and uh, dude, I'm not going to be putting up with y'all shit, and I'm outstanding. And I'm going to put the pressure on you, and I'm going to turn up the heat, and I'm going to talk shit to you, and I'm going to engage you. And guess what? I don't give a damn about how you feel all your career because a lot of y'all wake up in violation, let alone trying to avoid it. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm trying to avoid the shit, make shit better. Y'all trying to fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? Making it worse for everybody. Trying to trying to hurt me, hurting everybody else. Because if I'm going to pass the pain back to you. First chance I get. And so you need to be spending your time more constructive than trying to keep up with me in my area. Do your area. Do your area. Okay, don't worry about me. Do what you do. Now, if you blacklist me, I'm going to put you on the boycott list. It's just as simple as that. And also, uh, a lot of these housing authorities, all of these authorities, respect my documents. Because, uh, dumbass people, you raise the cost of doing business by having to make me get advocates, having to make me get lawyers, having to make me get associates and all of this shit, sending correspondents to you all. And some of y'all are just and still don't give me no credit. Like the NFL, uh, uh, because of this bargaining agreement, the NFL has put in a, 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 a placement that they have to uh, include at least two minorities in, in every position because they interview like 100 people for every position. That's after they select from a whole big-ass list. And so not having no African-Americans out of thousands of Africans is very disrespectful and demeaning. And I'm not putting up with demeaning that shit. And let me tell you something else about being demeaned. When people demean you, other people see that you weak and call that weakness. And they take advantage of you too. I'm not trying to have a basket load of assholes working together trying to take me down. And Africans and African Americans lack the ability to engage effectively or defeat multiple opponents. If you fucking with me, you know I can deal with multiple opponents, more than one, more than two, more than three. Not in every subject. Of course, everybody not in every subject and depending on who they are. But most of the time I'm winning, even with no money, I'm being able to uh, cast some uh, economic developments and get some projects going. It's not all about me. And if I can do this with no money, y'all don't have no excuse for performing uh, unacceptably and you have all of the resources and you have all of the clout and you have all of the responsibility that you need in your corner to act as soon as you get the inclination you can do it you can make a change the problem is courage you don't want to you 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 don't want to really want to do it because it takes courage you really don't you you thinking about it but then again you double thinking about it you really don't want it because if you really wanted excellence you will go get it and you will be a better sport because being a sport or being a good sport is good for business. It's how how are how you going to get all of this opportunity uh, and you barely can say good morning. You barely can hold a conversation. You can't compliment. You know what I'm saying? You can't congratulate. But at the same time, you're always looking, looking at seeing what everybody else got. You're trying to compare yourself and then worry about what you have. Don't worry about what everybody else has. Millionaires and billionaires stealing from guys that's disabled and shit like that. Millionaires and billionaires taking ideas and concepts and cashing them in and shit like that. Millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires don't want us with nothing. At the same time, they stealing from all of us. Man, I don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all need to do a better job. Y'all need to do business better. Y'all need to think about economic development. Y'all need to respect me. Y'all need to do a lot of shit that you ain't supposed to do. Get on it. That's what I suggest you do.